Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and we're going to have a quick look at how big brands crucify themselves on Facebook. So for that we're going to have a look at HP in the UK and we're going to look at their page. They've got massive amounts of people on here, 93,000, how cool is that? And 566 talking about it. We're going to come back to more of that in a second, however um, Hewlett Packard are a global brand and with a logo like Make It Matter, that's great. The problem is their biggest customer base is the mid-30s upwards who buy lots of computers and probably higher than that age-wise, probably my age group. So why on earth are they still, having been told about it, promoting music. This chap here is absolutely representative of the people on this page tearing their hair out. This page is a very good case study in how not to build your brand and Hewlett Packard are struggling. They've given a profits warning. They've got all sorts of stuff going wrong. Well their biggest problem is this kind of marketing. I hate to tell you this, mid to late forties, not a huge amount of people will be going to raves at that age group. Do we care about an artist's lounge? Probably not. Do we care about connected music? Probably not. You're giving stuff to people who are not making you massive amounts of money. Yes, the Ulick Packard computers do have some um, stunning sound quality in them and I'm using my HP at the moment despite its faults and its issues. However, that is not the target market that are talking on this page. And I bet from these numbers here that your target market are in there and I bet your ads are exactly where you are getting them from. So let's just have a quick look and see if I'm wrong. Well, first warning is this. There's only one of my friends and I've got a lot of connections who like HP UK. That's a big warning sign. This one here. Very little interaction engagement with it, although I bet some people are feeling quite like that on this page. Before we come to the issues over here, which are extensive, let's look down the page and see where the problem is. Well, let's start with here. Music, 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 music. The Prince's Trust. Prince's Trust, fantastic and wonderful. Hello, Mindy. Um, but it's younger people. Probably not your massive target market that you're aiming to sell stuff to. New Year's Eve. Not the greatest picture in the world. Even worse when underneath you're seeing comments that say, you've ruined my Christmas and New Year. This is not great. The picture itself isn't that great either. Even worse, nobody responding. If you're going to respond, it absolutely must be public. So, not quite sure what all this is about and neither did most of the people on the page. A sales discount fine but only four people are liking it that's not cool you should be getting far more than that boxing their sales craze let's have a look and see what the comments are products overpriced hmm not good wouldn't go to Westfield not good this looks awful they're saying the pictures are apples that wouldn't be good either None of this stuff here is really good at all. And they're being attacked everywhere. Oh, and Wayne Lewis has a point. Advertising sale whilst to encourage you to get away from sales. Hmm, hello. He is spot on there. So, Christmas picture. Really? Is that the best you can do? Looks like a Christmas card some child would send from school. 
and then you get another negative comment which nobody has bothered listening to. We really don't have a lot going on on this page. It really isn't great. Lots of sales stuff, very little of any worth whatsoever, stock pictures, more sales stuff. Oh, and more problems. Although somebody actually has said, sorry. So, you've got people trashing you all over the page on all of your own posts and very little being done about it. So let's go and have a look at recent posts by others and actually they could hide this. I wouldn't, but they could. So let's go and have a look through that and see what's going on. Missing keys. No response whatsoever. Not even the standard one. Is there a customer service number? No response. Dismal level of customer service? No response. You've ruined my Christmas. And they respond with, please fill in the customer support form. Fantastic. Or not. No response. A standard fill in. It might as well be a copy and paste. That isn't a great way to manage a page. And nobody's saying who they are either. You're ruining my Christmas. This goes on and on and on and on and on. And I've actually posted on here as well in the past before I actually went up to see them. And you've got people complaining, complaining, complaining and being treated, treated like numbers. It's really not great to see how you're looking after or not looking after your customers. This is why it's not working for you and why you are profit warning. There's very few people on here that are saying thank you. And that comes back to this. They're coming onto the page. They believe they're in the right place and they're feeling out of sorts and the only thing they can then do is vent. Nobody's helpful. Putting an app on the page that says go and fill this in that isn't great either. What you should be doing is saying, we're terribly sorry. You should have a thing on here that says your page is looked after by. Your telephone number for customer support is. Your email for customer support is. Get short of this and actually start talking to your true audience and turn it around. Or you won't have a business to trash. I could be wrong, however. Anybody disagree with me, leave a message under here or come and say hi, fb.com forward slash the social media cafe. Happy to chat.